Happy Sunday to all of you. Our reflection on this third Sunday of Easter is from the Gospel of John, chapter 21, verses 1 to 19. This Gospel account is another post-resurrection appearance of the risen Lord to His disciples. They just finished breakfast, and Jesus asked Peter, a heart-piercing question, Peter, do you love me? Not only once, but three times. The question of Jesus is not a question of trying Peter to remember how he denied him in the courtyard saying, I don't know that man. Not only once, but three times also. The question of Jesus is a question of love, a question that is spoken gently. Jesus was not mad. He was gentle with Peter. It is a question that recognizes the breakdown of friendship and trust because of Peter's denial and abandonment. And at the same time, seeking to restore and reconcile, to heal and forgive. It is a question inviting Peter not to compare his love to that of others, an invitation so that Peter will realize the weakness of his own love. It is an invitation to remove his pride and doubt and to put on humility so that he can restore his relationship with Jesus, who is ever merciful, who offers a threefold opportunity to repent of his threefold sin. And there is a beautiful lesson for us here. Christ meets us where we are. He offers us mercy and forgiveness for whatever sins may be. Our risen Lord is not discouraged to see our failures, our darkness, our dirtiness, our sinfulness. It does not deter Him. The disciples did not catch fish, so Jesus helped them. And the same with us. His hands is always open and ready to catch us, to help us, for He cannot abandon us. Peter has failed to be faithful, and Jesus reaches out to him with compassion and understanding, offering his readiness to forgive and begin anew again by asking him, Peter, do you love me? Our risen Lord, does the same with us. When we are afraid, He comes to us. When we are ashamed, He assures us. When we are burdened by our sense of shame and guilt, He loves us still. He comes to us, welcomes us, restores us, encourages us, and invites us to follow Him again. Like Peter, today our risen Christ is also asking each one of us, Do you love me? This is a question inviting us to have a loving relationship with Him. An invitation of love from our risen Lord that is welcoming us, forgiving us, healing us, restoring us to full identity as children of God. However, the invitation of Jesus to love involves more than just words and feelings. It requires action. It comes with an inherent expectation of doing. It involves commitment, courage, taking risks, following wherever He leads. Do you love me? Brothers and sisters, as people of the resurrection, our love for God must be seen by how we treat others, by becoming a good shepherd, feeding his sheep with kindness and compassion, thoughtfulness and concern, actions as well as words. This question of Jesus is an invitation of love that calls us out of ourselves, 
to look beyond ourselves, to go into our neighborhood, to go into the world, to serve, to care, to act, to find the lost, and to feed the sheep of Christ. God bless you all.